Video game easter eggs are kind of like a premium currency within communities, providing talking points for years, generating cult-like appreciation in some circles, and even going on to be directly referenced in other titles, spreading their secrets even further. However, of course, there are many secrets out there that will ultimately never be resolved, whether it's due to the developers moving on, forgetting themselves what it meant in the first place, or the franchise just slipping into obscurity. And a good example of this is the final cube mystery in Fez, I mean, Phil Fish has moved on from the industry, and while the final piece of the puzzle has been solved, no one knows why the inputs to unlock it actually work. And that, in some ways, is even more infuriating than never knowing that there was a puzzle to begin with, right? So let's tear what's left of our hair out together, shall we? As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game secrets that will never be revealed. Number 10. The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind and the Pool of Forgetfulness As you might imagine when writing for the Elder Scrolls games, there's so much going on in each title that sometimes content gets left on the cutting room floor, and when combined with the library of dialogue available means that there are a lot of plot threads that are often everywhere even after a lot of tidying up post-release. Therefore, it was actually very hard to pick one strange instance for this list, but then it struck me that there was actually one example that is actually almost ironic as it centers around a a pool of forgetfulness. While exploring the sixth house base known as the Sharapli, players can find the pool of forgetfulness, which obviously sounds like it's going to have some significance, right? Well, it doesn't in the slightest. It's hard to believe that something with a name this enticing wouldn't be part of a major storyline plot, right? I mean, think about it, a literal pool that could make you forget things. Imagine pushing guards in here to forget your crimes or dunking yourself in in order to respect your character. I kind of wish that I could take a dip and forget about this as it's been driving me mad for years. Number 9. Final Fantasy VII's Inaccessible Cave The original Final Fantasy VII is, without a doubt, one of the greatest video games ever made. Shut up, yes it is. And yet, it is a title that's stuck in the minds with some fans for reasons beyond just being an excellent JRPG, and that's to do with this cave. While traversing to the Forgotten City, players can spot an opening that mysteriously cannot be reached no matter what you try. And while it might be easy to write this off as a background detail, if you check the map analysis, it shows that this cave does indeed have layers, meaning that you would have been able to walk behind it. Yet strangely, it was removed. Again, we have to assume that this was just cut content, but it's infuriating to know nothing more than it existed at some point. Here's hoping that the upcoming remake will address this, even if there's just a little sign saying closed for repair. Hell, I'd even take a little picture of Kate Sith giving me the finger at this point. Just give me something, please. Number 8. Mass Effect 3 and the Closed Citadel Doors I think it's fair to say that Mass Effect fans are a bit of a passionate bunch, as from start to finish they lapped up every bit of information presented to them in order to fill out their own galaxy of knowledge. Now, this is a true win for a developer as it proves that they've got a massive hit on their hands. However, it's also a curse of sorts as it means that now your own player base will be double-checking all of the facts to see if they line up. Case in point, the fury surrounding the ending of Mass Effect 3. That actually meant that an extra piece of DLC was added in order to fill in some of the blanks. And fans were very quick to point out how silly it was to have the final conflict take place with a ship-to-ship -ship battle, seeing as in the first game, the issues with shooting at a target miles away from you in space were raised pretty heavily. Still though, thanks to all of this stink being kicked up, it actually meant that some smaller but equally important mysteries have never been solved, namely the closed doors on the Citadel in Mass Effect 3. It's not uncommon for games to have closed doors, but very few actually allow you to try and open the doors, only to fail. This implies that the doors will open at some point, but you've just not met the requirements yet. Still, even with 100% completion and the DLC all installed, these doors have never revealed their secrets. Number 7. Persona 4 and the Blinking Eye the Persona series have some of the tightest writing in video games, and somehow always manage to tie up even the smallest stories with style and charm, and therefore it's quite strange to see something appear and never get explained in Persona 4. When the player successfully levels Yasuke, some of the versions of this title have a mysterious blinking eye appear over his Susano. Other players have reported that it crops up when maxing out any of the protagonist's friends' social links, but it actually does seem a bit inconsistent as to when it will actually appear. Now, Persona 4's particular discourse is centered on discovering hidden truths, and so originally, fans believed that this blinking eye symbolized something. They just weren't sure what that something was. And we're likely never to know now that Persona 4 Golden has come and gone, and now we're marching towards the next installment. What a shame.
Number 6. Pokemon Red and Blue's Separated Couple Despite being all about dem Pokemons, Red and Blue actually do feature some pretty fun side quests, such as getting a Porygon through non-trading means and even battling the legendary Professor Oak. But there seems to be one side quest that's ready and waiting in the game, but the player can't solve. I'm speaking, of course, about the NPC that you can find in Fuchsia City who is looking for his girlfriend, and later on you meet another NPC, actually his partner, who is also looking for him. Now, most games would let you reunite the pair and likely be rewarded with whatever tosh they had lying around in their satchels, but the fact is, is that it is never presented, and it means that they will kind of be looking for each other forever, which is actually really sad. It makes you wonder why they were programmed in such a way that suggests a reunion, but unfortunately, it's one that will never come. Number 5. Where is Gavin in Red Dead Redemption 2? Red Dead Redemption 2 is by far and large a modern work of wonder. Throughout the course of the story, Arthur meets a rather flustered NPC looking for his friend Gavin. He can be found repeatedly in nearly all of the major cities or towns, and all the while, he's just seeking his lost pal. In the epilogue, he can be found again nearly 10 years later still trying to locate Gavin, but now he's turned into a bit of a crazed madman. It's actually really sad when you witness it. And of course, it's led to tons of theories. Some even suggest that he is Gavin but has forgotten his name, but others center on the fact that if you kill him, you'll find a letter stating that two men called Nigel and Gavin came to America to become cowboys. With this information, we now know that Gavin definitely existed, and therefore the question now is, where in tarnation is he? Curse you, Rockstar! Stop trolling us! Number 4. Fallout New Vegas is, 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 is Lucky 38 Executive Override One of the many, many things that I love about Fallout New Vegas was how it allowed the players to complete the story no matter who they mercilessly slayed, even if it was every major player in every faction. Now that is my type of game because I'm the big dog now. On this basis, however, you would be forgiven for thinking that each little detail contained within the game had been fully developed and served a purpose. You would obviously be very wrong because this is a a game which lets you do so much that of course there are going to be a few dead ends. And in multiple locations, players can activate the Lucky 38 Executive Override. And what does this do? Well, absolutely nothing, it turns out. It was meant to be used in a cut quest, but having this leftover feels like a taunt from the devs, however unintentional. Number 3. Pokemon Gold and Silver's Unown Pokedex Pokemon Gold and Silver was the first introduction of the Unown to players, a Pokemon that resembled letters of the alphabet, but apart from this, little else was actually known about them. They were also part of a sub-challenge to collect all of the alphabet of beasts by besting puzzles. So during the tenure of Gold and Silver, there were only 26 Unown available, yet after catching them all, there's a curious 27th spot left empty. And since the later games introduced the exclamation and question mark versions, it's actually quite unlikely that the empty spot was intended for either of them, and so fans speculated that there was some sort of unknown royalty floating out there just waiting to be captured. Still, as this has never been answered, we'll never truly know. Number 2. Grand Theft Auto V Secret Bunker Oh GTA V, you are so densely packed with mysteries that people are still finding little secrets about you. However, there is one that eludes players and may well do so forever. Upon obtaining 100% completion, UFOs start floating in the city, but they are only visible when the player is actually close to them. This is actually quite problematic since it is very plausible that not every single UFO has been found. And one particular UFO appears above the fort and shines a light directly onto a secret bunker. Inside of this building is an elevator, which is not operational. You can force your way inside, but there's actually nothing to see, meaning that to this day, people are still determining how to actually open the elevator door legitimately in the hopes that it will function as intended. But this has been to no avail. Now, considering the UFO specifically shines its light on the bunker, it must serve some kind of purpose, particularly when its interior has been built. Again, Rockstar, why must you drive us all insane with your secrets? And number 1. Mortal Kombat 4's Mysterious Character Mortal Kombat has long been a focal point for mysteries, and became one of the most talked about games on the playground not only for its gore, but about what might be lurking in the code. And arguably, a mystery that often gets overlooked was the missing fighter known as Belloc from Mortal Kombat 4. He was originally intended to be released in Mortal Kombat Gold, but was scrapped for some reason. According to Ed Boon, the team simply didn't have enough time to finish his creation. Yet that didn't stop Eurocom, the developer of MK Gold to release screenshots showing Belloc as a playable character. And things got even stranger when rotating Tanya's character box, a known method for getting secret characters, which revealed a question mark. At the time, fans had no idea 
idea what to do in order to unlock this character, and little did they know that Belloc had already been cut. But there's still speculation about whether Belloc is hidden in the code and that you can unlock him somehow. But for now, this mystery remains unsolved. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video game secrets that will never be revealed. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what else you would have included on this list, as I might do a commenter's edition further down the line. And if you want to chat to me about video games, movies, TV, wrestling, and everything else, you can do so on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero. As always, I've been Jules. You have indeed been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.